All right, in the previous lesson, I showed you how to do a box plot with the, the boys' basketball heights here. Now, suppose list two is, are the, the heights of a girls' varsity basketball team, and you can put this video on pause to enter in these numbers into list two. Okay, so this is one through seven here, and then this is uh, the 12th girls' height. Now, to make a side-by-side -side box plot, you do not have to have the same number of numbers in each list. You can have 10 numbers here or 50 numbers. It doesn't matter. It will uh, graph uh, box plots. So the two graphs are completely independent of each other as far as their values. They do not mix them. But what I'm going to show you now is how to put uh, two box plots kind of an, an over-under fashion. Now, in the previous video, I showed you how to do a box plot for this, and right above here are the stat plots. And stat plot is yellow, so I hit second stat plot. Now notice that the first plot is turned on. That is the previous video with the boy's height. Now I want to do a box plot for the girl's height. That is turned off. I want to turn it on. So I go down to two, hit enter in the lower right, and I'm going to hit enter to turn it on. And then I want to do a box plot. So I go to box plot here, and the girl's height is in list two. Now, your calculator may be blank here, but um, so make sure you have list two here, and then the frequency is also one because each height is, is done one time. Now, if I hit graph, notice what we have here. This is the boy's box plot, okay? This is the girl's box plot. Now my window settings is based upon my boys, okay? So notice it kind of, it just saved the last dimensions of the windows for the, just this graph here. So just because you enter in a new list here, it's not gonna reconfigure the window for you. So what we can go, uh, we can go to zoom here, zoom stat, which is item number nine. If we use zoom nine, it will redo the window to fit both box plots. Now obviously this is the girls because they're shorter and this is the guys. So once again, we can hit the trace button to hop back and forth here. If I hit down, so the minimum height for the girls is 61. The lower quartile 64.5. That's the median of the girls. So once again, these four, five numbers here chop up the data into four parts or 25% chunks. So we can say, for example, that 50% of the girls is taller than 67 and a half inches. So that's, this is a nice way to compare two sets of data in uh, two different lists.